All right, meanwhile, China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesperson Zhao Lijian is presently addressing. Let's listen in to what he has to say. And breached the principle of consent. The award was based on flawed evidence and unwarranted application of law. Many countries raised doubts. The U.S. hypes up this arbitration to serve its own political agenda. It is an abuse of international maritime laws, and China never accepts that. Following the DOC reached by China and ASEAN countries in 2002, China is committed to resolving the relevant territorial and uh, jurisdiction disputes with so uh, sovereign nations directly concerned through consultation and negotiation. We are committed to jointly safeguarding peace and stability in the South China Sea with ASEAN countries. Now, under our joint efforts, the overall situation in the South China Sea is stable. China and ASEAN countries not only observe the DOC, but also accelerating discussions on a more binding COC to jointly safeguard peace, stability, and freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. We have made progress in our consultations. China's relations with ASEAN countries have been consolidated and developed in our cooperation against the COVID-19. As a non-regional country, the U.S., out of its selfish agenda, is doing all it can to stir up troubles in the South China Sea and drive a wedge between regional countries and China, aiming to disrupt China's and ASEAN countries' efforts to maintain peace and stability. The U.S. statement also deliberately distorts the Chinese representative's remarks at the foreign minister's meeting with ASEAN countries in 2010. In fact, the Chinese representative said that China believes that countries, big or small, are all equal, and the disputes should be resolved peacefully based on their merits through dialogue and consultation by parties directly concerned. The U.S. attempt to sow discords will never succeed. We deplore and firmly oppose the U.S. wrong practice, and we urge the U.S. to stop stirring up troubles on issues concerning the South China Sea. It should not go further down the wrong path. China will continue firmly safeguarding our sovereignty and security in accordance with law. We will firmly uh, uh, safeguard our cooperation with regional countries and firmly safeguard peace and stability in the South China Sea. Debbie Edward from ITV News. Um, what does the British government expect from China if today, as expected, the Prime Minister moves to block Huawei technologies? Whether the UK can provide an open, fair, and a non-discriminatory business environment for Chinese companies there is a litmus test for the British markets after Brexit, and it is also an indicator for China's investment in the UK. We will be closely following that. Hai 
中方是否会增开法航的航班。Could you repeat your first question? 第一个问题是。中方是否会针对美方的声明采取任何行动？你刚才讲了，中方的。Regarding the South China Sea question and the latest statements, but we're wondering if any response or any moves will be taken by China as well. Remarks. And on your second question, our embassy in France has made clear the situation. I have、uh, no further information for you. Hello, I'm CCTV NHK News Director Zhu Jia. Regarding a question on the South China Sea. They say that the China's military is undermining peace and stability in the South China Sea, and some say that China is setting up ADIZs in the South China Sea. So, can you give us more details on this issue? We have made clear our position multiple times. I have nothing for you. Could you speak to the microphone? Hello. Hello. Uh, Michael Greenfield, Sky News.、Uh, doesn't the fact that China is issuing threats to the UK, for instance, the Chinese ambassador to the UK saying the UK is treating China as a hostile country if it bans Huawei, show that Huawei and the Chinese government are too close? I don't think that's the right understanding of that. Ambassador Liu Xiaoming said. Uh, spoke of his position at the press conference. He didn't mean to threaten the British government. Any other questions? So this concludes our press conference for today. Thank you. All right. So that was the briefing by the Chinese spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Zhao Lijian. There, he was taking questions on some of the dispute points, points of conflict that the United States and China have got into, especially over this very contentious issue of the South China Sea. And also, a lot of questions have been asked about the very controversial national security law that has now been enacted in Hong Kong. And China has, in fact, come forth and said that the primaries that were held in Hong Kong for the elections for the Hong Kong legislature that is slated to be held in the month of September could have, in fact, been in violation of the security law. This, of course, was a question that was asked, for which the Chinese spokesperson has said that the law. The security law now stands, and anything which goes against the security law, even if it were to be a part of a democratic process for an election in Hong Kong, is something that he insists Beijing would like to go on and implement there.